Today we're going to show you how to install an optic mount on the Springfield Armory XDM 525. The particular mount we're going to use today is a Burris Fastfire 3, but all the other optic mounts will be the same, regardless of which optic you choose. So we're going to start off, we're going to need a slotted screwdriver, a 1 16th inch pin punch, and a number 3 roll pin punch is very helpful. The first thing we're going to do, make sure the gun is empty. And to remove the slide, we're going to pull the slide back, lock it open, flip up the takedown lever, and pull the trigger, remove the slide, put the frame over there for later. I'm going to go ahead and take out the uh, guide rod and spring and the barrel. Now that we have the barrel, guide rod, and spring out, we're going to remove the adjustable sight. I'm going to go ahead and just screw that out. Push down on it makes it a little bit easier. That Now the next part is a little tricky. We want to just set it on its side. Take the 16th inch roll punch. And so now that we have it removed, we're going to put the pin up here. Notice I left the pin in here. There's a spring with a retainer in there we don't want to lose. So if you're not sure on your spring catching capabilities, just put it in a plastic bag and pull it off. But I can handle this. So we'll pull it out and then gently bring it out. And here's the retainer and the spring. So we'll put these up here. Okay, we'll remove this spring. We don't need any of this. So now it's stripped out. So for the next part, we're going to want to degrease this little screw hole here. I'm going to put on my safety glasses. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to take this off the screen here for a sec. Use some, <clears throat> I'm going to use some degreasing spray and then I'm going to dry it out with my air gun. The next thing to do is to take your optic plate and remove the screws that are in here. And then we're just going to do a, a test fit. So the little part goes in the front and snaps right in. Shouldn't have much play. We include a, a thread locker. We recommend you use that for these instructional purposes. I'm going to skip that step. Um, and we're going to take the screw. This is a metric screw, so I don't lose it. And we're going to tighten it in until it's firm. And uh, you want to make sure it's, it's firm plus a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want it loose. Um, if you over tighten it, you're going to strip out the screw and you won't be able to take it out. So it is very small. Um, to be able to fit in there. You want to just make sure it's in there really good, not moving around. Again, do not over tighten it. That'll put pressures on the uh, screw that can, could make it snap. So the next part is we're going to flip it over and then you see there's a little hole here. We're going to go ahead and take and modify one of the roll pins that comes with it so that it can fit in that hole. The easiest way I've found to do this is just to take it in the vise and Pinch the end, make sure it's still round, and just tighten it over a little bit so that it can get started nice and easy. Then we're going to put it in the uh, hole, give it a little tap to start it, Then we're going to use our roll pin punch. The roll pin punch has a little concave area in here, so it has a little pin that goes inside out there, and that keeps you from smashing over your pin. Makes them go in nice and easy. And then once it's in, you have this screw and this uh, roll pin to keep it secure. The next thing we want to do is put the optic onto the plate. 
We provide a thread locker and what I recommend you do is to put a little bit on the bottom so that when you put it on here it'll help secure it. We do have the posts but it doesn't hurt to put a little bit on the bottom here. Um, so we're going to skip that step because we're just going to unmount this. So we want to make sure that it's on there. It's nice and flat. No, no gaps. If there's any gaps or anything like that, we want to make sure that we address that first. This fits as designed. So the next thing we're going to do is take the screws to mount the uh, optic to the plate and we're going to put them in there until they're just firm, sort of a finger tight. Get them both in there. And again, once we have them in, then we're just going to want to set you down just a little bit more, maybe a quarter of a turn, maybe half a turn. We don't want it to over tighten and st strip it out. So there you go. Now that we have it reassembled, we're going to install the barrel and the guide rod in the spring. We'll take the uh, frame, slide it on. I lock it open, put the lever down. There you go. A few notes. It is really important that you allow the thread locker to cure before you take it to the range and start using it. The other thing that you want to do is you want to check this probably every time you go out. Just make sure that they're still snug. You can take your wrench in here, just tighten it down. If it's loose, you'll feel it move. If it moves, then you want to go ahead and unmount the optic, clean it, reapply the thread locker, reinstall it, and then use it again. Uh, it's not a bad idea when you get back just to make sure that they're still tight with all the vibrations caused by recoil and everything else. They can loosen up, and if they loosen up, then uh, you can either strip it or, in worst case scenario, you could lose your optic and uh, you don't want to do that.